NYPD Commissioner Dermot Shea did an about face today about the causes of the city's seemingly uncontrollable gun violence. While being grilled by lawmakers in Albany, Shea also had a tough time answering pointed questions from assembly members representing the city. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer here now with the story. Marsha. Well, Maurice and Christine, it was probably a day Police Commissioner Dermot Shea wished he'd stayed in bed, or at least not made the long trek to Albany, because in addition to switching his story on the cause of gun violence, he had a bout of, uh, shall we say, selective amnesia about an embarrassing case where the NYPD pinned a crime on the wrong guy. And I certainly have a lot of confidence in, in the police in New York City. It started out okay, but tongues started wagging after Police Commissioner Dermot Shea seemed to backtrack on his repeated insistence that state bail reform laws are a major reason why cops can't stop gun violence. Assemblyman Jeffrey Dinowitz simply wanted to know... Were there people out yeah. uh, who, 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 you know, with no bail, for example, or bail being set and they made bail, I don't know, yeah. um, and then committed another shooting? and we're arrested again for basically the same yeah. crime. When you look at who we arrest for crimes, it's going to be small numbers. When you look at the, the entirety of how many shooting arrests we make and the percentage, it's not dramatic. Meanwhile, CBS2 obtained a report from the city's Office of Criminal Justice that throws cold water on Shea's bail reform argument. The report shows 9.7% of defendants were released without bail for gun crimes before bail reform was passed. It fell to 3.5% after bail reform was was enacted. But there were more tough questions about his penchant for blaming bail reform. In June of 2020, Commissioner Shea, you blamed bail reform for a rise in shootings, but a New York Post analysis of the NYPD's own data found that claim to be false. Do you agree with the New York Post that that was a false claim? Madam, I, I don't generally hold um, you know, debates over what appears in the paper. The assemblywoman also grilled Shea about an incident two days ago where the commissioner blamed bail reform as the reason a man police said was responsible for this Brooklyn purse snatching attack on a 65 year old was still on the street. We had a case in Brooklyn today. We're looking for an, in, an, an individual that has 11 open cases right now. And then he goes out and he, and he brutally attacks a woman on the street. It was an oops moment. After Shea talked about it on the radio, red-faced cops had to retract the story because the man they identified as the culprit was actually behind bars when the attack occurred. Asked about it at the hearing, Shea all but took the fifth. I do, do not know the case you're referring to. Meanwhile, the Legal Aid Society called on lawmakers to ignore Shea's calls for changes to the bail laws. They charged that Shea had relied on, quote, falsehoods, fear-mongering, dog-whistling, and other unscrupulous tactics to undermine the reforms. Maurice and Christine. All right. Thank you, Marcia.